All right, hello everyone. It is Friday, June the 23rd. Uh, the time is 1608 New York local time. May the Lord bless you with patience and discipline. Um, so it was a mixed bag for me on the PM session. Uh, I will start with the uh, positive. So coming into my Apex uh, account, as you know, I already hit my profit limit for the day on my top step account. So um, coming into the uh, PM silver bullet time, um, I originally took a short up at 15, uh, so 129 three quarters. I covered it as soon as I saw it getting into this price action here. Um, we ended up making a short term low here right at this order. It's not really an order block, just this black candle here. Just this black candle. And so I covered that and as I saw that price was coming back up, uh, and we were in the setup time, I went, there's my PM Silver Bullet right there, as it's classically described. I was in the original trade six minutes before the setup time. So I got back in a short and covered again at um, 15.085. So did well on those two NASDAQ shorts. Um, I didn't, obviously, I, I sh probably could have held it for lower. Um, I was originally aiming for right here at uh, 052 evens. That would have been another 30 points, but I got back up to my full drawdown on Apex. And so one of the things you need to know about trading Apex uh, is that the drawdown trails you. So you are highly incentivized not to let these things run against you. Um, you, should, you should definitely be taking profits pretty early with your Apex account. Uh, take profits early, take profits regularly with your Apex Trader funding evaluation accounts because the trailing loss is going to follow you. So uh, if you don't take profits and then it starts running against you in open profit, uh, it's too bad, so sad. So I've, I've had that happen to me a number of times. So at this point with, with Apex, usually whatever my, whatever my target will be, I'll usually take it at like half that. And then uh, ES. Um, okay, so what I was seeing on the ES, and I think I talked about this in um, my last tape reading session, was we came up to our regular trading hours gap, and I saw that price was rejecting. So as I saw that price was rejecting the 50% of that regular trading hours gap, and then we had uh, an inefficiency right here. So we had a fair value gap right here. This was um, taken 12 minutes before the setup time. Now there was another silver bullet, just like there was on the NASDAQ. There was another silver bullet that was available to you right there. So if you did not get at my original entry, you could have also taken the trade uh, right there. So there was two PM silver bullets. Remember that I allow myself 15, up to 15 minutes uh, outside of the setup times to initiate a trade. Um, so I got in on the original the original move down and I covered as we came down to this fair value gap right here so as we came down to this fair value gap again I saw that my um, apex trader funding 300k simulated account was um, at maximum drawdown I was back up to 7500 drawdown so I just wanted to cover it there and going into Sunday and into Monday I'll have a full drawdown to work with, which is a good thing. So yeah, I left a lot of money on the table. I don't really care. Um, I'm, I'm looking to keep my Apex Trader Funding Evaluation account uh, right up there at that maximum drawdown. I can't even pass the account until uh, not, not this up and coming Monday, but the next Monday. So I can't even pass this account, even if I got to $20,000, I can't pass it until uh, throughout next week. So I have to trade all next week and then the, the Monday following that. So, you know, I'm not incentivized right now to hold these trades very long. So that is what I took on the um, my Apex Trader Funding Evaluation account. Now, on my TradeStation Live account, I went down $80, uh, and, and this was real bad. Um, this, was, this was no bueno. Um, I fell into impulse. So I originally took a good short here, and I could have let that thing run, uh, and I chose not to. And I saw that we were trading into these regular trading hour inefficiencies we can see here. So we're on the regular trading hours, and 
you know, we came down, came down here. Uh, so I fell into impulse here and did not follow my own rules and started trying to bullshit in this little range here. And so I paid the price. I paid eighty dollars worth of the price. So I'm still up on my account. I was at three hundred and six dollars, and now I'm at three hundred thirty nine dollars. So thirty three dollars up um, for the week. But yeah, I blew eighty dollars uh, coming into AM PM Friday because um, I thought that price was going to try and bounce this sell this uh, yeah sell side inefficiency right here. So I tried to get long rather than just holding on to my original short longer. I tried to play play it cute and get long and then short again, and uh, that burned me pretty badly. So I lost eighty dollars today on this. So it was a mixed bag. Um, we are doing well on the Apex Trader Funding account. On my live cash account, didn't do so well today. Uh, I was doing well, as you can see. I was following my rules and I hit two beautiful trades. And then um, just because I, I, you know, over leveraged. Now here's the thing: two micro russells is a very s small position. Like it's micro russells, but relative to my three hundred dollars, it's a big position. <laughs> So one of the things that I have noticed um, is I, my, my performance is way better when I'm under leveraging. So instead of trading two NASDAQs, I'll trade one. Instead of trading five ESs, I'll trade three. Um, instead of trying to trade 10 Forex contracts, I'll trade three to five. And then on my Micro Russell account, which is my own cash account, I've been doing really well with one contract. Um, I actually got it up $100 this week with before I blew it uh, with just one contract, literally one contract. It's only $170 of margin uh, during the intraday. So I have to get up to uh, $680 on my cash account before I can hold these things overnight, which I might even just deposit enough to do that, but probably not. I want to see if I can actually grind it up. Um, so with that being said, um, observation of mine is that I actually do perform better when I am under leveraging. Um, I hold on to these trades longer uh, if it's a profitable trade. So like this NASDAQ short that I took in the overnight session, you can see that I sold one at 167 spot 75. I held it through multiple retracements because I was asleep and then I covered it. So when you're under leveraging, you'll be uh, and you feel really confident about your entries you know, you'll actually uh, allow things to, to retrace against you and then and then move in your favor. So I feel a lot more comfortable trading when I'm under leveraging now and I've actually been more profitable uh, trading fewer contracts, which is, uh, you know, unbelievable to me, but it's true. Um, just because I'm allowing these positions to run further in my favor because I'm going to be, be honest with y'all, when I'm trading my model, I'm pretty fucking good. When I'm trading Michael's model, I'm pretty fucking good. I mean, you can look at the entries for yourself. But I oftentimes, uh, I oftentimes don't let these things run very far. This one, this London entry, I actually did let this one pretty run pretty far, and that was 104 Nasdaq points, and that was a good trade. That was 2,000 fake dollars. So I have faith that my entries are pretty fucking good, and. It's just my exits that I have to work on. Um, although, again, with these Apex accounts, I don't I don't like to hold the retracements because of the trailing drawdown. But for my own cash account, I can let the thing retrace against me. So, my advice to you and my advice to myself is um, learn to under leverage. You know, whatever amount of contracts that you're allowed to trade or you have the money to trade, trade fewer than that. And my other advice to you is that if you trade an evaluation account. Um, if you're trying to trade a prop firm account and they allow you 10 contracts, trade five. Not all NASDAQ contracts, but like trade five total between your products or trade like three ES. Just trade way less than what they let you. Under leverage and you'll allow these positions to move further in your favor. Allow them to move closer to what you actually think your target's going to be. So um, that's something that I have to learn uh, for sure. So I'm pretty comfortable here with three ES contracts. I'm comfortable with one NASDAQ, five micro Russells on my, on my Apex. Um, maybe I could even draw this micro Russell down to three. Um, 
So just trade fewer contracts, uh, and you can allow these positions to run further in your favor. Uh, before I leave you, uh, Apex Trader Funding is running a 90% off, um, a 90% off sale. Uh, my affiliate link is in the description box below. This has been the Friday, June 23rd, New York PM session trading review. Um, uh, just to recap, I did well on my Apex Trader Funding Evaluation account, and I shit the bed with my own cash. So that is it. Uh, we will talk to you soon. I hope that the Lord blesses you this weekend, and I will be back probably later today, maybe Sunday. I'm going to talk about what I think the week ahead looks like. Bye-bye.